Most victims have been described as stable and improving, but the numbers continue to increase. Confirmed cases of E. coli have risen to 64 as the government considers whether to revise its guidelines on children's contact with farm animals. Last weekend, 36 cases were linked to Godston Farm in Surrey and 12 children were being treated in hospital. Lee Dolby's son Harry was one of the 12. Speaking late last week, he said health officials should have acted earlier. In my opinion, if it's something as serious as this, surely you, know, you close the farm down until you get your all clear. You, know, you don't mess around with young children's lives. Um, and you, you don't keep it open until there's a positive sample of E. coli. Recovering at Queen Mary's Hospital in Sidcup in Kent, Harry's health is said to be improving. Another scare in a series of health problems for the three-year-old, who nearly died after choking on a sausage in June and was then diagnosed with swine flu four weeks later. Although his parents expect to see him home soon, his older sister Olivia has also been admitted after developing symptoms this weekend. After the distress of his son's illness, Mr Dolby now concerned as well for his daughter. It's kind of a deja vu of the situation we had with Harry, I'm afraid. Um, she's showing the, uh, the symptoms, she's a violent sick, sickness, uh, the, the diarrhoea and passing of blood. Um, exactly the same symptoms as, as Harry when he first came in and obviously Harry uh, deteriorated for the first couple of days um, but now thankfully on the men so we're, we're hoping, um, fingers tightly crossed, that uh, Olivia's going to start to make a recovery in the next couple of days. The latest figures released by the Health Protection Agency show that 64 people have the 0157 strain of the infection and nine children are in hospital. But health officials say they anticipated an increase in cases, in part because of the bug's delayed incubation period.